Hey everyone, today I want to um, share an article of mine with you and that I wrote a few months ago and it's about the uh, relationship between economics and politics. Again, it covers uh, the general you know, uh, debates about Turkish democracy and I want to share my screen uh, in order to you know, introduce this old article of mine to you. Uh, let me share my screen. Yes, uh, today I want to talk about this article, Turkish Economy as a Reset Button of Turkish Politics. Wow, it's not a few months ago. It's almost one year ago that I wrote this article and it was published in Modern Diplomacy uh, online news portal. Uh, what I try to cover in this article, uh, generally speaking, first of all, I put a theoretical framework about the relationship between economic growth and political growth. And I made reference to some important, uh, to some important thinkers like Barrington Moore. We know that there is a book uh, written by Barrington Moore, first published in 1996, The Social Origins of Dictatorship and Democracy. And in this book, Moore argues that there are three routes from agrar agrarianism to the modern industrial world. And um, yes, I don't want to talk about the book, but this book was one of the you know uh, uh, books that I cited in this article, and uh, I tried to cover the in the uh, the economic uh, situation in Turkey and how, what kind of impact it had on Turkish politics. As I said, it was one year ago since uh, it has been a year since I wrote uh, this article, but I think it still keeps. Uh, being relevant because uh, you know the high inflation the increasing unemployment rates all these in fact have a really negative uh, impact on Turkish politics and uh, so I made reference to some leaders of opposition parties like Meral Akşener and Ahmet Davutoğlu in this article and also uh, there is an international organization called International Center for Peace and Development. And it summarizes the social origins of democracy in global scale as the following. Over the past two centuries, the rise of constitutional forms of government has been closely associated with peace, social stability, and rapid socioeconomic development. Democratic countries have been uh, more successful in living peacefully with their neighbors, educating their citizens, liberating human energy and initiative for constructive purposes in society, economic growth and belt generation. Uh, so as you can see, economy is really important. And what we currently witness in Turkish politics, you know, the, uh, the erosion of democratic procedures and the, uh, the economic crisis that we have been going through for uh, a couple of years uh, also show this picture in a very clear way that the economy is really important. Uh, and also I want to make reference to the Minister of Interior Affairs, Mr. Soylu. Soylu, you know, has said something. You will see as of July, our economy will take such a leap and growth in July that Germany, France and England and Italy and especially the USA, which medals and everything will crack and explode. So maybe the foreigners cannot understand this expression of crack and explode. But in Turkish, it means çatlayacak, patlayacak. But unfortunately, this, you know, uh, guesses of the interior Minister of Interior Affairs has not come true. And, uh, you know, again, the economy is really in ruins in Turkey. So to make a long story short, I can say that coronavirus pandemic has exerted a major pressure on the already fragile economy of Turkey. And this leads to further frustration among the Turkish electorate. Uh, in other words, I can say that the Turkish economy can be seen as a reset button of Turkish politics for the upcoming elections. Uh, yes, uh, I tried to talk a little bit about the economic situation in Turkey. Uh, you know, you, everyone can witness around themselves in the environment that they are surrounded with. There are many people who are unemployed. Many young people dream of going to a foreign country for better life situation, for better life standards. And also uh, the, un the inflation rate is has you know increased in enormous terms but uh, compared to this inflation rate um, uh, the income 
uh, incomes of the citizens do not increase in this ratio. So this is one of the you know shortcomings of Turkish society at the moment. Yes, there are some uh, you know uh, well beings in in the incomes in the wages of the workers, but the inflation rate has been going enormously higher compared to the ratio that has been you know done in the wage uh, arrangements in the incomes of the citizens. So I can say that the the economic situation plays a key role, and I think it will definitely uh, shape the outcome of the elections uh, next year. And again, thanks for the for having a look at my video. Thank you, and have a great day.